Gas leaks, pilot rescues, and helicopter emergencies are all a part of hazmat team training. Cronkite News reporter Sarah Lichterman went to Glendale Municipal Airport to see how firefighters prepare for hazardous situations. Proficiency is the name of the game and training is always important to us. Valley firefighters have spent every Monday in hazardous training for the entire year. And this is the result. The tarp is in place on the stinger and we are in the process of cutting off the pump and the helicopter. This drill involves a malfunction with a helicopter crop duster leaking gallons of toxic Zika virus fighting pesticide. And the firefighters mission to rescue the trapped pilot, research the chemical and contain the contamination. Once we're able to identify what the product is, how much of the product there is, how we need to treat for it and what we need to do, then we can put that into action. But if we don't have that research, we're going blind. Over the stinger so they can safely operate into the uh, cockpit area to shut off the pump and then shut off the power to the helicopter. Once the research is completed, entry firefighters dress in their full bodysuit splash gear and head on site to stop the source of the leak. Due to the toxicity of the chemical after the incident, as demonstrated in this drill, the firefighters are metered and sprayed in the decontamination area. We have an entry team member that has run out of air. Right now, over the last couple of years, uh, the concern is uh, the Zika virus from the mosquitoes. So that's what prompted this drill for us. 14 fire department agencies throughout the valley partner up to train and successfully complete these drills in case of future hazardous situations. In Glendale, Sarah Lichterman, Cronkite News. Now, most firefighters will not see emergencies like these throughout their career, but are trained to prepare and handle any situation that comes their way.